History of the Origin of the Norwich Terriers. The animals owe their name to the place where the breed was bred at the end of the 19th century, the city of Norfolk in Great Britain. Other names include the Jones Terrier and the Trumpington Terrier. At first they were not considered to be of any particular breed, but were simply called shaggy because of their coat. A separate species of dogs was recognized a little later. Interesting fact, between 1899 and 1902, a female of unknown breed was crossed with a Cantab Terrier, resulting in a puppy named Drags. He was mated with various types of terriers, including the Irish and Glen of Imel Terriers. Frank Jones, after whom one of the names was given, played an important role in the formation of the breed. In their homeland, dogs were not used as hunters, only as guard dogs. The amazing hunting abilities of the creatures were discovered by students of Cambridge, whose dormitory basements were filled with hordes of rats. One of the students began to breed Norwich Terriers in his stable on Trumpington Street, in honor of her the second name of the breed was invented. It was in this kennel that Rags was born. Frank Jones took several individuals to the United States, where he began to use them as hunters for rodents and later for foxes. Norwich Terriers paired with foxhounds showed amazing results. When in 1904 Jones was asked about the name of the breed, he, without hesitation, replied, these are Norwich Terriers. The dogs were driven out of their burrows due to their small size. At first, Norwich Terriers and Norfolk Terriers belonged to the same breed. However, in the second half of the 20th century, the British Kennel Club separated them. The American Kennel Club did the same in 1979. Dogs with folded ears remained Norfolk, with erect, Norwich. Norwich Terrier, Breed Description. Dogs have a compact, symmetrical body with well-developed muscles. Compact body, strong skeleton. Dense, stocky build, with a short, straight back and a long, protruding chest. No protruding ribs. The body ends with a small, high-set tail. Often it is cut to two-thirds of the length, but this is not a necessary procedure. The limbs are well-developed, relatively thick, the paws are round. For burrowing dogs it is considered justifiable that the front legs are less muscular than the hind legs. During the hunt, dogs are repelled by their hind legs. The ideal height, as stipulated by the standard, is 25 cm, weight is 5 kg. Individuals reaching a height of 30 cm are considered giants. The shoulders are slightly pulled back, the elbows are pressed against the chest. The wrists are at an angle to the fulcrum surface. The thighs are strong, the knees are at a natural angle, which speaks of the strength that the breed is endowed with. The ears are small, with pointed ends. The breed is similar to the Norfolk Terriers, but the main difference is the erect ears. The head is rounded, the muzzle is wedge-shaped, elongated. Small, almond-shaped eyes of dark color. The ears are set wide apart. Strong strong neck, the transition from forehead to muzzle is pronounced. The front part is short, the nose is black, mobile. The lips are narrow, fully pigmented. The teeth are straight and strong. The jaws are strong. The bite is correct. According to the above characteristics, it may seem that the dogs have a slightly careless appearance, but in fact the dogs are distinguished by their gracefulness and graceful body. The movements of the limbs are sweeping, the stomach is tucked up. The tail is curved towards the back. Proud head posture. Popular colors of Norwich Terriers. The coat of these dogs looks slightly tousled. Hair is coarse. On the head they are smooth and short, on the neck and shoulders they are much longer, which gives the impression of a kind of collar. The breed standard allows for a wide range of colors, the black, redeed, gray, wheat, grizzly. All shades of red, black and tan are allowed. White markings are considered undesirable. When the breed was just beginning its existence, the most popular color was red, black and tan was a little less common. The first champion at the Norwich show was a black specimen with red markings. The ginger color is divided into two types. The first one is classic. Puppies are born with dark hair, which eventually falls out and in its place, grows a bright red hair with separate dark hairs. Puppies of the second type, kicks, have no pigment at birth. The coat is creamy or pinkish, without dark hairs. Babies of this species are born similar to small piglets, with pink noses and paw pads that darken after a few days. If the yellow pigment spreads throughout the coat, a sable color is formed, in which the ends of the hair will be dyed dark. The fawn color is a weakened red. May look whitish. Traditional redeeds can also have different shades, pale creamy, wheat, dark red, brown, grizzly gray. Weed individuals have significant darkening on the muzzle and ears. Such individuals are called silvery and are very rare. Among black and tan, there are those who remain black throughout their lives and those who, with age, become red with a lot of gray hair and some completely red. Black and tan individuals are born coal black with brown markings on the face, toes, under the tail. The nature and habits of the Norwich Terriers. The animals are extremely active. 
their size is in no way comparable with the store of energy, on the contrary, the size of the doggies is directly opposite to their temperament. Four-legged animals need at least two half-hour active walks to release all the accumulated energy. It will not work to sit quietly on the bench, the dog will demand movement, participation in games, physical activity, training from the owner. If a cat, squirrel or bird is encountered on a walk, hunting instincts will take over the pet and he will immediately rush to catch them. Interesting fact, dogs are best suited for athletes or people who lead an active lifestyle but do not like to lie on the couch. The creatures are great companions for the whole family. They are very funny and smart, kind, they easily find language with people of any age. A keen mind enables beings to assess the situation, draw their own conclusions and make decisions. But usually this does not boil down to stubbornness, and pets obey their masters in almost everything. Dogs get along well with children, since they are the first candidates for participation in entertainment. However, Norwegians are not at all suitable as nannies. They have their own dignity and they do not intend to endlessly endure children's pranks. Dogs can express their resentment, so it is important to teach your child how to communicate with them. Since these dogs are burrowing hunters, they have a passion for digging up everything around them. If a pet lives in the yard and acts as a watchman, he will be distrustful and suspicious of strangers. If the dog is introduced to someone, he will be cute and friendly. They do not show aggression towards passers-by on the street. It is better to introduce them to cats at an early age so that in the future the dogs do not rush at them. Interesting facts about Norwich Terriers. The Norwich's coat is disheveled, sticking out. Associated with this is one of the first names of animals rags, which means rags, shaggy. Any scars from the hunting process are not considered flaws. On the contrary, injuries on the body of this breed are highly valued at shows and are counted as battle medals. Due to their high intelligence and good learning ability, dogs are often hired to shoot Hollywood films. A dog named Nora, despite his young nine-month age, proved to be a real actress in the film Angels of the Revolution. She skillfully performed tricks at high altitude. At the end of the 20th century, animals did an excellent job of capturing mice. They saved huge supplies of grain from the rodents that flooded the streets of Europe. For this skill, they received another nickname, Radler. After helping the Cambridge students to get rid of the rats in the basements of their dorms, the Norwegians became a lucky symbol of the university. Small stature did not allow the animals to move quickly through the forest, so the hunters took the dogs with them in the saddle. The task of the four-legged was to climb into the hole and drive the animals to a flock of foxhounds or into the hands of hunters. The British described fearless babies as a big dog in a small volume. Animals are hired in sanitary services to catch pests. The most agile Norwich Terrier set a record, managing to catch 21 rats in 20 minutes. Among all characteristics of the breed, the highest scores fall on activity, friendliness, and relationships with children. Pros and cons of Norwich Terriers The desire to have a dog of this breed is not enough. You need to weigh your options before purchasing a Norwich. Animals are very mobile, active, love games. The owner must fully match his pet. These dogs are rarely found in the CIS and are quite expensive. The main advantages of Norwich Terriers, sharp mind and ingenuity, convenient to keep in the apartment, handles loneliness easily, doesn't bark just like that, get along well with children, doesn't look for hassles with other dogs, devotion. The disadvantages include the need for long walks and physical activity, love to dig the earth, damage to lawns, the hunting instincts take over in the wrong places, inability to live with decorative rodents and birds, breeding difficulties, a cheerful, perky dog can bring a lot of positive emotions to children and people leading an active lifestyle. Walking is as important for a person as it is for a pet. However, for phlegmatic individuals, the dog's mobility can be a problem and they will consider it a disadvantage. Dogs are easy to keep, unpretentious in matters of food and care. They learn quickly, they know what can be done and what cannot. They easily make contact with children, make friends with other pets with whom they grew up since childhood. The animals quickly get used to the new conditions of detention and are in good health. They are often restless, looking for adventure. If other pets do not live at home, they may be hostile to animals. Feeding should be done only with expensive feed, which is financially costly. During the molting period, frequent combing is required. Breeding Norwich Terriers The main problem in breeding is finding the right mate. There are several rules that must be followed when mating representatives of this breed. The process should be carried out on the territory of the male in the morning. Partners do not need to be fed. Mating of close relatives and individuals under the age of 18 to 20 months is not permissible. Norwich pregnancy lasts 56 to 72 days. The day of mating should be remembered in order to know the exact date. Too early or late childbirth often leads to the death of the offspring, so in such cases it is better to seek the help of a veterinarian. 
Due to the small number of puppies, the gestation period may be reduced. Young bitches often have fewer puppies. Visible signs of pregnancy may only appear in the later stages. The appearance of a petter palpation of the abdomen will not give information about a positive mating result. If fertilization is successful, the dog may become somewhat calmer and require more affection. She may look sickly. A month after successful mating, the pet's belly grows, in the fifth week the nipples swell. Before giving birth, the belly drops. It is necessary to prepare a birthing kit in advance, which should include clean diapers, warm soft cloths for wiping babies, a box with a heating pad, and an antiseptic for treating the umbilical cord. It will not be superfluous to purchase a scale for weighing crumbs, put a watch and a notebook with a pen next to it to record the time of birth of puppies. Before giving birth, it is better to give the bitch a laxative to empty the intestines. Call your veterinarian ahead of time to alert you of a potential call. Caring for Norwich Terriers Dogs have a long, dense undercoat, however, due to their small size, they do not tolerate cold well. It is better to keep pets in a house or apartment, they will feel uncomfortable on the street. For a resting place, a box with a soft pillow or a basket with bedding is suitable. For sending the needs, you can put a tray, but this does not remove the obligation to daily walk. They are needed to maintain the tone of the pet. On the street, it is better to use a leash, since a mischievous person can chase after a cat or birdie sees and get lost. It is also better not to leave your baby unattended in private territory. He can dig under the fence and escape. Also, the dog can dig up the garden in search of mice and beetles. On the street, animals can pick up fleas or ticks. The coat must be constantly examined. Long fur does not go astray, but it should be combed out frequently during molting. You need to bathe your pets only as a last resort, no more than once a month, since the coat can become dry and start to split. As the fur grows, the dogs are taken to trimming and grooming. The claws of tetrapods do not require cutting, they grind down on their own on the asphalt. It is not necessary to brush your teeth with special brushes. It is enough to give your pet hygienic bones to gnaw. Teeth toys can help prevent plaque. Due to the erect shape of the ears, the shells are well ventilated, but the thick hair growing inside must be thinned regularly. Lotions help keep your ears in good condition. Eyes should be checked for mechanical injury. If there is discharge, the pet should be shown to the doctor. Diet of Norwich Terriers since animals love to eat densely and well, it is necessary to strictly monitor their diet, since overeating threatens them with extra pounds. On walks, tetrapods can pick up food leftovers, which can be detrimental to their body. Workers of the special Kamuntran services scatter poisons to poison the yard dogs. You may not even notice what your dog ate. Therefore, the creature must be taught from childhood not to pick up food on the street. Whatever type of food you choose for your pet, the diet should be carefully considered. You should not get carried away with canned food alone. Despite the vitamins and minerals contained in ready-made feed, raw foods, meat and fish should still be present in the feeding of dogs. Cheap food can negatively affect the digestive system of babies. You need to buy high-quality food in company stores, monitor the expiration date. When choosing a ready-made food, you need to find out whether it is allergenic or not. It is also important to focus on the puppy's taste preferences. When buying an animal, you need to consult with a breeder about nutritional issues. If this is not possible, it is better to seek advice from a veterinarian. Those who opt for natural products must adhere to some rules. A half of the diet is lean meat. Every day the dog should receive vegetables. You need to cook different porridges. Dry food should not contain dyes, preservatives, corn, spices, chicken, salt. Allergenic food should be avoided in natural feeding, milk, tomatoes, legumes, onions and garlic, milk. The volume of food is calculated using the formula 20 grams of food per 1 kilogram of puppy weight. From natural products, you can give Norwich beef, offal, sea fish, cereals, dairy products, vegetables. Under the ban for creatures are sweets, bones, flour, river fish, cabbage, smoked, fried, fatty, potatoes. Puppies need 4 to 5 meals a day, adults 2 meals a day. Diseases and health problems. In general, the creatures have good health and strong immunity. Norwich are strong and hardy animals. Their life expectancy is 12 to 16 years. And yet they have a predisposition to certain diseases. It all starts with delivery. Due to the fact that dogs have large heads, veterinarians often resort to surgical intervention. Quadrupeds have a predisposition to back ailments. To avoid spinal problems, do not overfeed the animal. Excess weight puts pressure on the spine. The heart and gastrointestinal tract are also affected. Fullness turns a mobile baby into a shaggy ball with shortness of breath and loss of activity. Overweight dogs begin to have problems with joints and the respiratory system. With age, fat women suffer from difficulty breathing. Norwich people do not breathe deeply and they feel painful to breathe. Oxygen starvation begins. 
this cannot be treated, and all that remains is to eliminate the symptoms. An important fact, often in four-legged eye diseases, including cataracts. The disease can be identified by special testing. The respiratory organs require additional attention. Dental plaque develops into stone. This leads to tooth decay and inflammation of the mucous membrane in the pet's mouth. Sometimes puppies are found with congenital deafness, hip dysplasia. For the dog's well-being, it is necessary to correctly compose his diet, organize physical activity for him. Timely vaccination and treatment of the pet from parasites will save the animal from the risk of serious diseases. The first vaccination is done at two months, then at seven months, and then one time per year. Norwich Terrier. Price and how to buy correctly. Puppies of this breed are small and funny, but they should not be confused with decorative ones. The best option would be to buy a pet abroad. There are very few of these animals in our country. Breeders select individuals for their appearance without taking into account character traits. Dogs with nervous system defects are allowed for breeding, shy or aggressive. Future owners unknowingly buy such puppies, and over time they face problems in behavior. Even experienced trainers cannot cope with the behavior correction of unhealthy individuals. It is very difficult to deal with genetic ailments. Buying a baby should be taken seriously. After studying their features and characteristics, look at the ads of foreign nurseries on the internet. Breeders will advise you on this issue, give advice and guidance. If there are no suitable dogs at the moment, the breeder will let you know when they will appear. Toddlers should be up to the standard. In two to three month old babies, you can determine the setting of the ears and tail, limbs. The puppy should have a compact build, short back. The hind legs should be slightly pulled back. The kid should move freely, be playful. The expression on the face should be curious, interested. Take a look at the parents of the selected dog, you should like mom. In foreign nurseries, the price for Norwich varies between 900-1300 US dollars and domestic nurseries 700 US dollars. Inspection of an individual from abroad is usually carried out via Skype. The buyer decides for himself how the pet will be delivered. The Norwich Terrier is a wonderful, unpretentious companion dog in care and feeding. A puppy of this breed will give the owner a lot of joyful moments, his love will amaze him with optimism and cheerful mood. Many people fell in love with dogs at first sight. The kids are so charming that they will win your heart from the first minutes of meeting.